All right, fellas. Now that we've done the physical or the manual movements of the bubble sort, we're going to move to the algorithm. So let's come over here. So as you see, the algorithm is set up as normal. Void the return type. The name of the algorithm is bubble sort. For now, we'll use no argument, but we assume that we are sorting an array called ARR. So as we see, we have an outer loop, just as we had before, and we have an inner loop, as we expect. The outer loop has a value out, as we had in our manual um, movements. So the out is set to the length of the array. Remember, out was set to the right side of the array. So array.length sets the out value to that. We are going until out is, or while out is greater than 2, and we are moving out to the left. So thus, we have out minus minus. Okay? Then we have the inner loop, where in starts as 1, as always. So every time out changes to a new value, in starts over as 1, as we had before. We go in while in is less than out, and we are saying in plus plus for this loop. So in is moving one space to the right every time. We ask the question is if in if array in is greater than array in plus one, which means array if the position that we are currently at for in is bigger than the position to the right, then we swap those two positions in with in plus one. All right, and once we complete that, we will end up being sorted. So, what I would like you to do is to take the original al the original array that we had. Use the bubble sort algorithm and do the walkthrough for homework so that you should be able to show the, al the array at every stage of the algorithm with the, val with the numbers changing as the bubble sort completes its work. Okay? Thanks for listening and be able yourself.